Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the divisibility rule for 12. Now remember, when we're checking for divisibility, we're checking to see if we can divide without getting a remainder, so the given numbers work out exactly. So in this video, we'll go through four examples here and see if those numbers are divisible by 12 based on the rule at the top of the screen. So if a number is divisible by both 3 and 4, it will be divisible by 12 as well. So remember, the divisibility rule for 3, we need to find the sum of the digits, and if that sum is divisible by 3, then the original number is divisible by 3. And then for 4, if the number formed by the last two digits is divisible by 4, then the original number is divisible by 4. So let's jump into number one here where we have 648. Let's um, do three first. So we'll do three and then four, and then that will tell us if it's divisible by 12. So for three, we need to find the sum of the digits. So I'll come to the side. We have six plus four plus eight. Six plus four is 10 plus eight is 18. 18 is divisible by 3. We can do 18 divided by 3 and get an answer without a remainder. We get 6. So 648 is divisible by 3. Now let's see if it's divisible by 4. We'll take a look at the last two digits here. 48. It creates a 48. And 48 is divisible by 4. 48 divided by 4 equals 12 without a remainder. So 648 is divisible by both 3 and 4, therefore divisible by 12. On to number 2, where we have 1,140. So let's see here, we'll do 3 and 4 again. Let's uh, find the sum of our digits, 1 plus 1 plus 4. Well, 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 4 is 6. 6 is divisible by 3, Therefore, 1,140 is divisible by 3 as well. Let's check the last two digits, and we get a 40. 40 is divisible by 4. 40 divided by 4 equals 10 without a remainder. So uh, 1,140 is divisible by both 3 and 4, therefore divisible uh, by 12. On to number 3, we have 910,000. 231. So we'll check 3 and 4. All right, let's uh, add our digits off to the side here. Running out of room, that's okay. Uh, 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 2 is 12, plus 3 is 15, plus 1 is 16 there. 16 is not divisible by 3, uh, therefore 910,231 is not divisible by 3. So we get an x here. Let's see if it's divisible by 4, though. So last two digits is a 31, which is not divisible by 4. Uh, therefore, the original number is not divisible by 4. So 910,231 isn't divisible by 3 or 4, and it had to be divisible by both in order for it to be divisible by 12. So number three, not divisible by 12. Lastly, number four, we have 8,225,124. So let's see here. Let's add our digits. So we have eight plus two plus two plus five plus one plus two plus four. Four. Cutting it close there, but we fit it all in. So we have 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12, plus 5 is 17, plus 1 is 18, plus 2 is 20, plus 4. This equals 24. So the sum of our digits is 24, and that is divisible by 3. 24 divided by 3 equals 8 without a remainder. So therefore, our original number is divisible by 3 as well. Let's see about 4. So let's take a look at our last two digits. And we have a 24 here. 24 is divisible by 4. 24 divided by 4 equals 6 without a remainder. So 
225,124 is divisible by both 3 and 4, therefore it is divisible by 12. So there you have it. There is the divisibility rule for 12. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.